In today's video, we'll be taking a look at parameters. So parameters allow us to capture and store data, similarly to like a variable, that we can utilize throughout our various queries. So as we can see, we've now got three queries in our list. So comments is a new one, but it's using exactly the same file path as our other two. And you can see it entered here. And similarly in customers, it's our source here. And lastly, it's the same as you'd expect in tasks. This all works fine, but if we were to move our file maybe to a different folder completely or up the levels, then we would need to make sure that this path is updated in all three of our queries, which, you know, is fine. It's only three queries, but if you had even more queries than this, obviously it becomes quite a manual task and you run the risk of missing uh, sections or queries that it hasn't been updated in. So the reason for bringing up parameters now is this parameters gives us the ability to store this file path in one location that is referenced by all of our applicable queries. So the first thing we need to do is simply copy our file path. So you can see the hard text as it is. And you'll note I'm not copying the, um, the quotations either side. We don't need to do that. Uh, I was just gonna go to the last step there. And to create a parameter, we simply need to go to manage parameters. And as it stands by default, the section on the left here is blank because we are yet to have any parameters. So we'll click on to new. And I'm simply gonna call this file path. And the type, uh, we're gonna call this, or not call this, it is the type of text. And suggested values, so we've got three options. It could be any, a list of values, or a query. We're just gonna simply go for any. And all I'm going to do is paste that into our current value. I skipped over it. Of course, you've got a description box here. Should you wish to provide a description of what this parameter is doing? We'll then click on to OK. And you can now see that that parameter has been added to our queries pane. And we have the variable, the valuable, the value available to us here should we want to amend it. But everything is how we want. So what we can now do is obviously reference this parameter or more be it this string throughout all of our queries. And to do so, we're gonna start with tasks. We'll go to source and simply we can remove all of this hard static text. We're gonna also remove the quotations and I'm now gonna just type in file and it's not found anything. So let's just put a capital F, so go file with a capital P, still not found anything, but I've got confidence I'm spelling this correct so we can see file path. So I'll just click to the side here and you can see after refresh, it's acknowledged and likes it. We can double test that by just going into refresh preview, refresh preview, and we know it's worked because this table is still being extracted from our source file. If it didn't like that file path or there's something wrong with it, of course we would receive an error. And we can go to change type there, and we can see that the data is still coming through as required. So we now know that our task query is using that file path parameter. We'll just do that into custom as well. So go into source, remove all of this text here and the quotations and type file. Ah, and now we can now see it. So second down there, we can see we've got file path. Just did tab there to select it, hit enter. Yep, happy that's now coming through. We can go to that last step and we can see we've now got our customer detail. And lastly, in comments, let's go to source. We'll remove all of this text one last time. Type into here, file path, select, hit enter. And we can see that that now has worked as well. So obviously the real benefit of this as mentioned at the start is should our destination file or our source file, probably more correctly put, should that change in terms of the folder structure? All we now need to do is amend that in this single parameter and that will be referenced and uh, updated, shall we say, in all of our subsequent queries. So I hope you um, that wasn't too overly complicated and you can see the logic in why we'd want to do that. So I suggest this time as always, have a play around if you've not already and just familiarize yourself with using parameters in your queries as we've done just here. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.